All right, uh, my name is Darren Petty and I am a videographer, photographer, YouTuber, podcaster, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt and academy owner. And you can find me on the internet and look it all up. My story's there, it's all there. Thanks for having me. Yep, are they asking me questions? Yeah, so a bit of a spiel about what you're doing, what, you know, what your pathway's been. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Oh, yep. And then these guys can ask some of these questions that are on the board. Gotcha. Yep. All right, sweet as. Okay, I'm Darren Petty and I grew up in a rough childhood really rough. Moved to Tasmania to escape my violent stepfather who died in jail. And then when I got to Tassie, I started to fix up my life. And now I am a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt coach and teach uh, Jiu-Jitsu and have an academy. I am a videographer, I make videos and a photographer. And I've worked with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm a podcaster, I've got my own podcast. All this is on YouTube. You can look up my name and you can see all the Arnold Schwarzenegger stuff and my podcast, etc. on YouTube. I've, been, I've interviewed a ton of people on my podcast podcasts uh, recently like you know the jack jumpers and stuff like that. I was a bodybuilder as well, uh, won Mr. Tasmania, Mr. Australia. I got fifth in the Mr. Universe in Germany in 2008, seven, something like that. Yeah, so I've done a lot of stuff. I've been a fighter, MMA fighter. That's why my ear looks like this. Can you see that? Questions? How did you like come into like, filming? filming. So I, had, I started a digital academy in 2012. I started making videos for social media for the for that and then I, and then people started asking me to make videos for them and then more and more and more and more and more. Then I got a, um, a DSLR camera like one over there that Derek's got and this is my crew. Yeah man, I just started making films for everyone. Got hectic and then obviously I got invited to film Arnold and after that got even more hectic. You know, and I've flown around the world. Anyone here know Luke Jackson, the boxer? You may or may not, yeah. I went to Belfast with him and I filmed his fight and I filmed all of his fights in Australia. And that was pretty, pretty wild as well, yeah. So basically now, <clears throat> I'm, uh, I've got a podcast and we have it on YouTube and got a big studio and we do all that sort of stuff. And I do jiu-jitsu and love it. Any other questions? My dream job in high school. Man, I was, I was drunk in high school. Uh, I was terrible in high school, man. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know, man. I was like stealing cars, um, drinking, using drugs. Moved out of home when I was 14. Didn't know anything. I didn't know if I was gonna go to jail or not. I don't know. Uh, my dream was to just keep living, I guess. You know? I didn't know what to do. I was lost in high school. I went to Taruna High and it was, um, it was full on. And a lot of my friends ended up going to jail. Some of my friends died and I visit their graves sometimes just for the drugs and alcohol and stuff like that. So my dream job in, in high school, I don't know, man, I, did, I just tried to survive. The main thing that helped me survive was staying in school because then I had somewhere to go. You know, I had like teachers that look after me and stuff like that. Got through high school, went to Hobart College, the same sort of lifestyle. Got out of college and started to fix my life with fitness and weights. Good question though, dream job. No idea what I wanted to do in high school. And it's okay, I think, not to know and to figure it out, you know, and just listen and watch what other people do. A lot of new jobs these days too, you know. Can't believe it, but you can get, you can have a job being a gamer. Unbelievable. Back in my days, never a thing. And uh, my videographer over there, Derek, he's got a Twitch channel. He makes money doing Twitchy. What do you play, Derek? Name one that the boys would know. Warzone. Which one? Warzone. Warzone, you see. He makes money on Twitch. So anything's possible. Any other questions, guys from the board maybe? So what, what exactly we is your official title now? No idea. I do so much stuff, yeah. you know? I really do. You know, I'm a podcaster, I'm a martial artist, I'm a videographer, photographer, I'm a, I make documentary films. And back in the day, back in high school, I was making no money, living on nothing, wearing the same clothes every day. And now I make a lot of money doing what I do. You know, guys, what I'm trying to say to you is that I'm a testament to anything's possible. I almost went to jail a few times. I've been in the Supreme Court with the judge looking at me, you know, for doing bad stuff. Very lucky not to go to jail. So anything's possible. How tall are you? Nine, what the heck? Five, How old are you? Dang. Well, I started out pretty slow, pretty low, you know, down in the dumps and things, but then I became successful. Do you enjoy what you do? Love it. Yeah, man. I get paid to do cool stuff. Well, when I get paid, I have trouble keeping that money. I always have, like, the urge to spend it. Yeah, so much. So, yeah. It's common, eh? It's common when you're young. You want to spend it. What do you spend it on? What type of things? Oh, I usually just get... Oh, I need, um, like basketball food. Like. Of course. Why not? Yeah, there's plenty of time to make fortunes and, 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 and save your money and buy houses and cars and things. 
But right now, man, if you need some new shoes for basketball, go, go ahead and get it. <clears throat> Sometimes you guys need, need to spend your money on food. And I don't think I need to tell you guys to stay away from drugs and alcohol. It's a waste of money and time and effort. Oh, I'm glad that one. Yeah, yeah, a bit, bit stuck in it. Yeah. Hopefully he gets out of it, man, you know? Yeah. Stop, that's good. All you can do, boys, is the um, best thing you guys can do is just leave by example. You know, try not, try not to get in their face too much about it, but just be cool and show them that you don't have to do that, you know? It's the best way to do it. It's hard when you tell someone to stop doing something, they, they get angry. Any other questions about career? What, do you, what about what you guys want to do? Play for the jack jumpers. Yeah, man. I'm a social worker. You want to be a social worker? Unreal. It's very good to have a rewarding job, you know, and to have aspirations to help people, and that's your living, you know, you, you make money helping people. I was a child carer for a lot of years back in the day. I worked in disability support work for three or four years with people with cerebral palsy. You know, that was very tough, but a good experience for me to, to do that, working with people that are disadvantaged and need help. It's a very good thing to do. Have you been on, like, vacation anywhere? I was a bodybuilder for a lot of years, so I went to Germany with that. And also as a videographer, I went to uh, Ireland. I actually filmed, I don't know if you know him, Luke Jackson, boxer. Heard of him? Yeah, I went to film his world title fight there. So, you know, like your, you know, what I do, being a video videographer, and all, all you guys watch YouTube, right? Yeah, you watch all that. You get paid doing that stuff, you know. Some of the best experiences of my life, actually, you know. So, what do you guys want to do? I want to be a police officer. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. If you want to be a cop, huh? You gotta, you gotta have a clean record. You know what I mean? You can't sort of get in trouble because then they say, oh no, look at your record. So keep going, keep doing your thing and be a police officer. It's, it's wild, man. It's a good job and it's a long career, you know? And again, same thing, you get to help people, you know? You get to help people in distress. You, you my man? What about a mechanic and a YouTuber? Yeah, hell yeah. Well, you can mechanic and film it. Is, do you watch any of them sort of people now? Yeah, doing squad. And they do that? Yeah, do that. Yeah, but you've got to be good though, because if you're filming it, uh, people will be like looking at it and go, oh, you did that wrong, you did that right, you know what I mean? So you've got to study that, you've got to study that stuff pretty hard, you know? Become the best um, mechanic you can be. That's epic. I like that. You could be a police officer or a YouTuber, what do you reckon? I don't think they're allowed to do that though. Well, good luck with everything, you know? What was the question, brother? Um, what brought you to your job? So why do you want to become a YouTuber? Why do I want to become a YouTuber? Yeah. Because it's the best, man. It's cool. Get out of your house. No, I got a studio, man. That's wicked. Yeah. What? Part of me? Can you could repeat your job again? I will. I will. I will. Uh, um, I'm a YouTuber, podcaster, videographer, or filmmaker. I'm a photographer. I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and I have my own academy. I forget what else I do. A bunch of other stuff. And what was your question, my man? Uh, well, why? Why is it the best? Like, why? Look, man, I get to talk to awesome people on my podcast. I've filmed Arnold Schwarzenegger, and that's all on YouTube. I get to meet awesome people, travel travel around Australia. I've been to different places around the world as a YouTuber. If you know. No, I haven't been to VidCon. I'd love to go. I want to meet Gary V. Do you have any tips? Yeah, man, start filming on your phone. But first, before you do that, do some research on what you want to film. Don't just film yourself talking shit. Watch as much YouTube as possible. If you think you've got a, a niche, which is something that you're interested in, start playing with it and get good at it. And do get good at it and show your peers and your friends and, and get feedback and stuff before you start uploading. And, uh, make sure that you you know you know what you're doing. You got to be careful because if you start just uploading and uploading right now, tomorrow, or tonight, uh, you might get some hate. You know what I mean? And you got to deal with that. And the best way to deal with that is to block people, not fight back. I get hate too. They don't realise who they're talking to. It's called keyboard warrior, right? So I just block them. That's my tip for YouTube. What's the little black box on your thing? I presume it's like a microphone. That's a microphone, and there's a video camera right there. And this will be on YouTube. See what I mean? That's what I do. That's my team over there. That's my video team. And they hang out and travel around with me and we film cool stuff. When you was young and obviously you had a rough childhood, did you see yourself coming this far in life? Hell no, bro. I thought I was going to jail. You know what I mean? I thought I was going to jail for sure. Like, I've been arrested a couple couple different times in high school just itself. We stole a car once and took it down to the school over and we did burnouts and the cops caught us. and. Got arrested, and a lot of my friends are in jail, man. Or been a resident. Um, a lot of my friends are dead too, and that was almost me. I, I was going to jail, and or dead. I had to break out. Of, I've been in trouble with the law a bunch. You know, I've got a pretty bad record, so that affects me to this day. Um, 
you know, I'm a convicted drug trafficker. I was selling steroids and got in big trouble for it, stuff like that. It affects your life, man. So my biggest advice to you guys, especially the fellow over there who wants to be a police officer, is don't get a criminal record. Because if you do, you can't. You can't do shit. Hey, thanks, guys. That was a good one. Thank you. Believe in yourself. Help each other. Help each other. Awesome. Check it out. Seems like you did pretty darn well. Yeah, I've turned out pretty well, man. And now I'm trying to make an example for, for people like you guys to, to do your best, you know. And if you're doing anything that's bad, stop it. Because you can, you can end up bad, you're going to end up worse at any moment. You can always get yourself back. Yeah, you can. You can there's always redemption at any age, except, you know, unless you land yourself for life in prison. Then, you know, there's no, there's no backing out of that. There's no backing out of death, you know. Yeah. So why not start now? Why not start being your best, being the best version of yourself now, you know what I mean? And you guys, you know, you're here, you're doing it. What do you guys want to do? What do you want to be? I always wanted to be professional motor racer. Mad, man. I know a lot of people like that. You know, car racing professionals and go-kart professionals and motorcycle professionals. You just got to get ready to break some bones, brother. Yeah. <laughs> but that's epic stuff. I love that. I love, especially love watching um, crusty demons and all that, you know, flipping and stuff. Yeah. It's wild. What else, guys? What else? Helping people. Yeah, helping people. Over the years, I've had jobs. When I clean my life up, I've had jobs as a, as a child carer uh, and work with disability services as well. So that, that was a good thing for me to learn. Um, to help people. And if you get paid to help people, it's even better. It's like your teachers here, you know? They get paid to do this. They could do other things, but they choose to come here with you, with you guys, with you rep bags. And they love it. I want to get into the film industry. Film industry, man. Like, like, like making movies or... Yeah, man. Wow. Well, there's, um, there's a lot of pathways in Tasmania. You know, Screen Taz, and um, there's a place called Wide Angle in town. And you can join up there if you haven't heard of it already, have you? So what, look up Wide Angle, write that down. We'll get you on the right pathway and you'll make little short films, long films, you know, chuck them on YouTube, this, that and the other, or Vimeo. Filmmaking, that's what I do. Uh, little movies and I'll make documentary films and epic. It's the best ever. Hard work though. Lots of hard work. You gotta edit. You know, I have to got my MacBook and Final Cut Pro and that's how I work it out. You know, what else? I'm planning on, once I finalise my resume with my parents, I'm gonna walk into Henry Jones in the city and hand it in. Henry Jones, there you go. Yeah. Or any one of those places, man. There's a bunch now, right, in Hobart. Hospitality. You know, front of house stuff, I reckon you'll be good at. Oh, I love, I, I've, I've had some experience and I actually love it. Yeah, get in there, man, and you, you'll meet a lot of people. And Any small thing you'll change in your life? Anything I would. Change in your life? That, that I've been through. Yeah. yeah, my criminal record. I'd change that. Having a criminal record sucks, you know. You can't get jobs and people don't take you serious. You can be great at this, that and the other and if you've got a criminal record. Well, I haven't been able to travel to America in the past 10 years because of my criminal record, you know. They stop you going to America, so I'd change that for sure. You consider yourself like drug trafficker? Well, that's what I was, man. I was yeah. a drug trafficker, so. With, uh, I was selling steroids, which is a really bad decision to make. And Yeah, but now I can go because it's been 10 years, so I might go over to LA and New York soon. Thanks, guys. You guys are cool. Good luck with everything. Be good and be a good example. Help each other. Try and lead by example. Try and help each other as much as you can. Have as many friends around you as possible. Get rid of people that aren't good people, you know. Try not to be around bad people. Try not to be associated with people that are, you know, toxic and... Move past it. Yeah, move past it. It's a very good one. It's a very good thing to say. You know, if you, keep, if you stand still, nothing changes, right? But if you keep moving forward, you can never go wrong. Forget about the past. Yeah, forget about the past, but also learn from it. Yeah, it's a good one. I like what you say there. You've got a lot of good things to say. You should say these things to your friends all the time because you never know who you're going to help. Would you say that the, like, the job you have now is like like a dream? Pretty much? Yeah, man, I want to live a dream. You know, because I just get to do whatever I want. And if I don't want to do something, I don't do it anymore. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it's, I only do what I want to do. You know, I get paid to do that, so I do that. But also I do a lot of uh, volunteer work. You know, I, I do a lot of stuff for free. Because I just love it. You really got to just, you know, look after each other. Yeah. Hey, thanks, guys. Rock on.